Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussed another very very important lecture in uh, CSAR Net Advanced Name Reaction. In this lecture, we are discussing about a palladium catalyzed new CC single bond formation reaction. This is the last lecture in this category. Okay, now this is, this is nothing but a heck cross coupling reaction. Heck cross coupling reaction. So here it is the noble Lavandi reaction. So the general definition of a heck cross coupling reaction is palladium catalyzed coupling of alkenyl or haryl halides and triplets. Not only halides, here triplets also. Palladium catalyzed coupling of alkenyl or haryl halides or triplets with alkenes with alkenes in the presence of base to furnish the alkenyl and aryl substituted alkenes to furnish alkenyl and aryl substituted alkenes now here it is the general representation alkyl halides or triplets which are treated with uh, like these type of uh, alkenes alkyl halides or triplets which are treated with uh, like these of these type of alkenes in the presence of palladium catalyst okay so now here palladium zero uh, zero is the most stable catalyst so palladium catalyst and the presence of like a base okay now here it furnishes new cc single bond with alkene and alkyl halide carbon group alkene and alkyl halide carbon group this is the simplest representation of heck cross coupling reaction now here r is equal to any type of like a alkenyl alkyl okay allyl aryl like a uh, so many uh, so many examples are there now here r dash is equal to like uh, alkenes alkynes aryls maybe alkyls or it may be possible for the like a co2 r or it may be or so okay now here basis we are used uh, like a so uh, triethylamine like a sodium ethoxide these type of bases we are used in this heck cross coupling reaction without a base here the heck cross coupling is not there okay so the presence of base it, it uh, furnishes the like uh, our uh, our alkenes our alkenes so this is the simplest uh, uh, detailed uh, simplest description about a palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction now let us discuss the catalytical mechanism of heck cross coupling The catalytical mechanism is here it is the palladium L4. Here L is equal to our uh, favorite ligand that is PPHA3. Okay, now here the uh, elimination of two ligands it becomes a palladium L2. Palladium L2. Now here it favors the zero oxidation state only, not the two oxidation state. Now here in this first step, uh, regularly as usually alkyl halide undergoes the oxidative addition process. Oxidative addition process. Now here palladium like a uh, here it is R X L2 this type of complex now I would like to write the R group over here so this is the better representation here L2 X L2 X now in this case second step that is the like a, our alkene insertion like a carbo palladiation reaction carbo palladiation reaction so here this alkene insert over the palladium catalyzed uh, palladium catalyst now here in this reaction it, it may be possible to attack the product like it, it is the so now here it is the alkene so these alkene pi bonded electron will shift it towards the palladium metal why because it is a uh, electronically deficient now these bonded two electrons will shift it over there now here it creates the palladium or here it is the carbon group uh, our palladium attached r group uh, attack over there okay so based upon the deviation now here i would like to represent over the r dash r dash now here it produces this type of complex now here it is nothing but h h here it is the h here it is the h so this complex let us represent the sawhurst projection of those complexes sawhurst projection now here it is palladium here it is the uh, R group. Now here uh, these two are the like uh, two hydrogen groups. Here it is the R from the palladium. R from the palladium. Okay. Now here it is R dash. Here it is hydrogen. R dash as well as hydrogen. Now generally heck coupling reaction it requires a syn dehydropalladiation, syn elimination. Okay. Syn dehydropalladiation. So it favors the syn elimination. 
Okay, so now here what will, what will be the uh, removed over here? That means here the formation of alkene, so which removes the hydrogen and palladium. Hydrogen and palladium. Here it is a palladium L2 and X group. Palladium L2 and X group. Now here the syn periplanar is not present over the complex. That's why it is rearranged. It is rearranged like this. Okay, so the first carbon as usually present over there like this, palladium L2 hex, but as second carbon it undergoes the CC rotation, it undergoes the, like this type of CC rotation, now R present over there, okay, in previous cases R present over there, now here R shifted over here, hydrogen shifted over here, these hydrogen shifted over here, now here it becomes hydrogen R H hydrogen R H. Now here hydrogen and palladium having the same plane. Now here it undergoes this in elimination. So it gives the like a, this palladium group a bonded to electrons will shift it over there. Now these bonded to electron will abstract the like a material uh, like a palladium will abstract the hydrogen atom. Okay. Now here in general these things will happen like double bond R R dash. Double bond R R dash. Again here it having the palladium L2 H and X. Palladium L2 X and H. Okay. Now in this final step, uh, whenever we use the base, so that base will eliminate the base HX. Base HX. Now the palladium L2 will, will get the like regenerate regeneration of catalyst. Regeneration of uh, catalyst. This is the simplest representation of Hacker cross coupling reaction. Simplest representation of Hacker cross coupling reaction. Now here the steps which are involved in the Hacker cross coupling reaction is here it is the A that is oxidative addition now here the second one is the carbopalladiation that is a migratory insertion of a alkene compound to the palladium metal now in this so this is the isomerization here it is the third step it is elimination like beta hydride syn elimination beta hydride syn elimination now the final step is uh, reductive elimination in presence of a base. Reductive elimination in presence of a base. Okay. So these four steps uh, which helps to understanding the like this type of a palladium heck cross coupling reaction. Okay. Now let us discuss the, some of the applications of a heck cross coupling reaction. Okay. Now let us discuss the, some of the applications regarding to the Hecker cross coupling reaction. So now the first application that is regio selectivity. Now the second one is the presence of a, like a tertiary butyl ammonium chloride. Now the, this is a phase transfer catalyst, phase transfer uh, reagent. Now the third one is alkene isomerization. The fourth one is uh, like it is a uh, Intramolecular heck cross coupling reaction. Intramolecular heck cross coupling reaction. Okay, these four are the very important application regarding to the heck cross coupling reaction. Now let us discuss the one by one very clearly. So here the regional selectivity will be classified, will subclassified into two types for according to our uh, because of our understanding. Okay, so now the like uh, regio uh, regio selectivity at all phenes whether it is having the withdrawing groups or donating groups. Now the at olefins position where it is attacked, where it is attacked with a different different stereochemical aspect. Okay. Now the first one is a regio selectivity of uh, uh, olefins at a uh, which ha which contains electron withdrawing group or which contains electron donating group. Now the first one is which contains electron withdrawing group. Now let us discuss one by one very clearly. Okay. Now here it is a withdrawing group that means here it pulls the electron cloud towards itself. It pulls the electron cloud towards itself that's why the bonded two electron will shift it towards the adjacent atom of electron withdrawing group uh, electron withdrawing group okay now here it becomes w here it is a, a minus here it is plus the, why because here withdrawing group it pulls the electron cloud towards itself again a, a why uh, due to the plus minus m effect minus r effect minus i effect due to the these type of electronic effects uh, the bonded two electron will shift it towards the electron withdrawing group side Okay, now here the minus charge will attack over the like a palladium catalyzed uh, parallelly. So the R group attack over the like a cation of uh, cation of electron withdrawing group. Now here it creates the W or that is a uh, palladium over there. 
So now after the sin elimination of palladium, we will use the olefin product. We will use the olefin product. Now in this case, in other case, that is a electron donating group. So here donating group means here it send the electron cloud. Here it pulls the electron cloud towards the opposite side. Not uh, it cannot uh, uh, pulls the electron cloud towards itself. Here it sends the electron cloud towards the olefin side. Now why? Because here it is maybe alkyl group or hetero atom or nitrogen atom those type of groups so here it is the lone pair of electrons will send the electron cloud towards itself then it gives the these type of negative and positive charge partial charges over the olefin so here it cannot possible why because so here maybe it possible here it creates the negative charge that negative charge lone pair of electrons will ripple to each other it can it can't sustain okay so that's why the negative charge is shifted over there now positive charge created over here this is the donating group case okay now the negative charge will obstruct the palladium so parallelly all group attack over the cation so followed by the palladium or donating group palladium or donating group so the sin elimination of palladium hydride now here it it will it gives the donating on our position donating on our position now what we observed in case of uh, withdrawing group and donating group so withdrawing group the r group not the palladium group r group attack over the terminal of olefin now here in the case of donating groups r group attack the same position that is the gem position okay now these two are the major differentiation between the withdrawing as well as donating groups this is the first criteria okay uh, i think it is very clear okay now let us discuss the second point regarding to the reduction activity Okay, now the attack of phenyl bromide we will discuss direct method. Now here it is the COO methyl. Here it is also COO methyl with methyl group. Okay, now here it is phenyl with methyl. Here it is a C4H9. C4H9. We will we will uh, discuss these four types of problem where it is the phenyl bromides are uh, halogen attached group attacked where it is attacked okay now here let us take the phenyl bromide is the best example now here phenyl attack at the either this position or this position okay either this position or this position now we have discussed the electron withdrawing group uh, will attack the alkyl halide alkyl group or aryl group or vinyl group uh, which the terminal position now here it it is the attacking that means here it is 100% attack present over there here it is 0% attack okay now let us discuss another thing here the presence of a methyl group over here so now here the possibility of attack uh, of the group now donating group uh, which creates the olefins over here only withdrawing groups uh, here it helps the attack of phenyl groups over here only okay both the groups uh, will give this type of attack uh, but due to the steric endurance it lessens the 100% that is a 99 and 1% of attack 99 and 1% attack now here phenyl and methyl phenyl and methyl so here uh, it is not much of the electron withdrawing it is withdrawing group uh, but it here it gives the 79 and 21% as of uh, possibilities okay now here it gives the 80% and 20% of attack so 80% and 20% so the presence of alkyl groups uh, it enhances the position of uh, jump position okay jump position of alkyl now let us discuss some of the examples regarding to this this, this series of selectivity of heck cross coupling reaction okay now here phenyl bromide so let us take the example of a uh, olefin that is the cis olefin now in presence of palladium with a uh, like any base catalyzed reaction so now what we need what we observed uh, as a major product so let us think maybe so here it is a phenyl group now let us take the phenyl over here it is methyl okay now here it is methyl phenyl so it may be possible for the phenyl over here uh, it cannot possible according to the our uh, previous data according to the our previous data here the like phenyl group attacked okay so that is our expectational product but not we will not get the this type of product we will get the product like this phenyl methyl so interestingly it will use this type of a product this type of a product let us solve why, why why it happens why why it gives this type of product okay now this is the group now here phenyl bromide so first of all alkene which is connected uh, phenyl palladium which connected to the phenyl group as well as bromide group okay now again which is connected to the uh, on the second step uh, it is the palladium okay second step it is palladium so according to our previous data here it is l2 so this is the possibility here phenyl here bromide so here it is a 
phenyl, here it is methyl. Okay, so what will happen here the methyl group? I think they are given in the cis group, methyl. Okay, now here the bonded to electron will shift towards the palladium. Now these phenyl group electrons, phenyl bonded electrons will shift over here. So now it creates the palladium. This is the group that is phenyl. Now here it is methyl. So here it is like a phenyl which is attacked over the attacked from the palladium. Okay. Now these groups are same plane. Now here it is a hydrogen. Here it is the hydrogen. Now this is the expected product, expected mechanism. Okay. Now after the formation of these type of complex, these type of sigma complex, now it requires to eliminate this thin periplanar of a palladium as well as hydrogen. Okay. Now the major criteria, so alkyl halides, uh, again alkenes, uh, which gives the beta hydride syn elimination. Okay. Now beta hydride syn elimination. Okay. Now here. Palladium and the hydrogen not, are not in the syn plane or chemistry. Syn plane chemistry. That's why here CC single bond rotation is required. So here the phenyl group will shift it towards the right side. Hydrogen will shift it over here. Okay. Phenyl, uh, phenyl group are shifted over here. Methyl group shifted over here. Now we will get the CC single bond rotated molecule. Here it is the palladium, phenyl, hydrogen. Here it is the like a hydrogen, phenyl, methyl. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, palladium and hydrogen having the same periplanar, it gives the product like this. So, here it is phenyl, here it is methyl, here it is phenyl, here it is the hydrogen. The both are equal. Both are equal. That's it. That is the major criteria. When we will go through the mechanical pathway, we will get the correct answer. So, we will go through the direct assumption. Definitely, it will go to the wrong answer. Okay. So, this is the criteria. Now, let us discuss another example regarding to the stereoselectivity. Then, after we will go through the... Okay. Now the second example, that is a phenyl bromide as usually, we take the COO methyl. So in this case we have discussed the, the terminal position having the two types of hydrogens. The, the terminal position which is nothing but uh, in the case of sigma complex it is beta hydrogens. Okay. Now in this case we discussed the beta hydrogens, two hydrogens as a present of a beta hydrogen, beta position. Okay, at present at the beta position. Now here it gives the attack of the position like this. So in previous case like this. Here it is the olefin, okay. So here it is the olefin, CO methyl, palladium. Here it is the phenyl group. So it attack over there, it attack over there, it creates the palladium. Palladium, here it is the phenyl, okay. Now here CO methyl hydrogen. Here also now the groups are two R hydrogens, two R hydrogen. Whenever we will shift the group in right side rotation, we will get the syn periplanar of a hydrogen and palladium. As usually, we will shift the like CC bond left side rotation. Again, we will get the hydrogen over here. These two are sin periplanar. So now here it is the competition. Okay, now here it gives the like regio isomers, stereo isomers. So in this case, uh, the uh, thermodynamically controlled products are major. Thermodynamically controlled product. Uh, now in this case of rotation, it gives the syn chemistry that is unstable in case of thermodynamicity. So that's why it gives the like left side rotation as a major product. Uh, so here it is CO methyl, here it is phenyl. Okay, so now here we will get the trans as a major product, trans as a major product. Uh, this is the major, like a uh, major chemistry which is involved in this regio selectivity of heck cross coupling reaction. So, in this case of uh, like a phenyl bromides which having the chlorides, uh, cyanides, COR, and uh, triethylamine substituents, like diethylamine substituents, does not uh, uh, part of uh, our coupling reaction. Those type of groups, like a chloride, cyanide, COR, those type of, not, uh, which are connected to the aromatic ring, aromatic uh, substituents that are not participated in the coupling reaction. Okay, this is the regional selectivity of heck cross coupling reaction. Now, let us discuss the presence of TBAC. Now, let us discuss the second application that is the presence of TBAC. Presence of uh, TBAC that means uh, tetrabutyl ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. So, in previous cases, like uh, here, uh, like hema cross coupling reactions, we have discussed TBAF. Okay. Now, here this is act as a phase transfer agent. Phase transfer. Agent. That means uh, liquid to like a uh, solid phase transfer or solid to gaseous phase transfer, such type of uh, uh, phases are transferred from one phase to another phase. So, if any reagent will uh, helps to 
phase transfer from one phase to another phase that such type of reactions are called phase transferases okay now here so generally the main drawback of heck cross coupling reaction even though we are used uh, like a very effective sensitive palladium catalyzed reactions but it gives it requires 100 degrees uh, 100 degrees higher temperature higher temperature let us take the like here it is the phenyl bromide okay so which is treated with uh, this type of coo methyl okay so in generally we used the palladium OAC. So in situ we will prepare the PPH3. Okay. So here palladium plus plus two is unstable when compared to palladium zero in case of Heck cross coupling reaction. That's why we used the palladium two to PPH3. We will get the palladium zero. That is a reduction of palladium two to palladium zero. Okay. Now here it will gives the product this type of. So that is a trans product. That is. A trans product so this trans product will use the 84 percent of yield so when we use the 100 degree centigrade temperature as well as basis okay so but uh, effectively we used the like some phase transfer reagent uh, palladium zero as well as uh, our phase transfer reagent uh, it requires just 30 degree centigrade temperature but it gives the effectiveness of the catalyst that means improve it, it improves the effectiveness of the catalyst it gives the almost all 91 to 95 percent uh, almost all 91 to 95 percent so now the uh, presence of phase transfer isn't uh, it improves the catalyst uh, catalyst catalyst um, effectiveness okay now let us discuss the another example regarding to the P tbac <coughs> now it is also uh, belongs to the easier selectivity type now here it is the coo methyl it is ester group now however we will take the c4h9 iodine c4h9 iodine so it is the e isomer now here uh, or it may be a z isomer just let us take the c4h9 ch double bond chi whether it is a e or z it doesn't matter okay now let us take the palladium zero okay now here it it, it gives the products uh, these type of products maybe it is possible okay now here it is the coo methyl so here like a C4H9, C4H9. This is the one possibility. Again, another possibility is there. COO methyl here C4H9. So this is called E E isomer here E Z isomer E E isomer E Z isomer. Now, whenever we will take the E isomer as a measure, E isomer, we will take the E of a vinyl halide. We will get the E E 95 to 5 percent. 95 to 5 percent. Okay. Now let us take the Z Z as a measure product, but we will get the like here. This is the 98 to 2 percent around approximate values these are not particular so these are the approximate values uh, regarding to the standard book okay what, what will happen in case of palladium catalyst without tbac it is not possible so with the tbac we will get these type of uh, regio isomers regio isomers now we will take the e isomer we will get the e as, as a measure so generally e is predominant product in e, e a cross coupling reaction that's why we will does not change the, this e stereochemistry but we will take the e isomer now we will get the e, e as a measure when compared to the EZ. So in case of Z isomer, we will get the EZ as a measure when compared to the EE. So this is the TBAC reaction. Now let us discuss the alkene isomerization. Now let us discuss the third factor that is the isomerization of uh, olefin. So in heck cross coupling reaction the double bond may be isomerized to the adjacent position isomerization of alkene so now let us take the general example here it is the olefin so which is connected to the like a arx now the original what we expected so here uh, these type of products we are expected okay these types of product but originally we are getting these type of products like a, either these type or these type okay so now in these two cases uh, both the double bonds are isomerized well, how they are isomerized in the in this case of the heck cross coupling reaction okay now let us discuss the compound reaction here it undergoes the like uh, oxidative addition palladium l2 so it undergoes the either above the plane or below the plane any one of the plane of chemistry now palladium attack the below the plane chemistry now here these bonded two electron will shift towards the palladium so parallelly the ar group attack over the like a wolf in position now it it gives the like uh, this type of compound here ar here palladium 
So in both the cases, both are same side. That's why both having the same stereochemistry, either below or above. Now we will decide the palladium is below. That's why I'll maintain the below palladium stereochemistry, palladium L2. So we are discussing in our catalytical mechanism. So D, uh, that is a elimination. It occurs the syn periplanar. Syn periplanar. Why? Because here the palladium group uh, here it is the uh, below the plane. Now here the hydrogen is above the plane. So palladium alpha position adjacent beta again it having the another beta position okay now here the in this case here palladium is below the plane uh, hydrogen is above the plane so palladium like this uh, hydrogen like this okay now this, these two are anti-elimination now heck favors this in elimination products so here these two groups are not in sin that's why it favors the another possibility it proceeds to the another possibility here it is the above the plane hydrogen here it is the below the plane hydrogen so bottom side beta position having the below the plane hydrogen these two undergoes the like syn periplanar elimination syn elimination now it gives the this type of olefin okay so this is called simplest uh, like a uh, isomerization of alkenes this is the simplest isomerization of alkenes now we observed this type of like intramolecular heck cross coupling reaction are also gives the isomerization of the double bond now let us discuss the another uh, very good example regarding to the isomerization of olefin now i'll give the one of the best, best example regarding to the isomerization of olefin now here it is olefin this is the like a uh, dihydro uh, furan dihydro furan now here whenever the alkyl group attacked over there alkyl halide it gives the, these type of groups so whenever the presence of palladium so palladium for starting it uh, of course the oxidative addition so here it is the arom uh, uh, like a uh, aromatic group it is palladium it is the aromatic group here it is x here it is l okay now in this case here it having the olefin so palladium either attack the below the plane or above the plane let us assume it is below the plane okay now here palladium attack over the below the plane stereochemistry parallelly so aromatic ring attack over there so the bonded to electron will shifted towards the palladium atom then palladium aromatic bonded to electron will shifted towards the positive charge of the atom why because here it is the negative charge so here it is the positive charge here it is the negative charge negative charge can only attack over the metal metal any other type of the metal that's why palladium attack over over here instead of this okay so it is clear now here it gives the this type of product here it is the like a palladium <coughs> l2x here it is the aromatic compound here it is the aromatic compound now here it having the hydrogen in previous case also these two are the uh, anti anti periplanar chemistry okay that's why here it proceeds to the <coughs> adjacent hydrogens okay it follows the adjacent hydrogens now it undergoes the like uh, this type of elimination now it gives this is the major product this is the like a major product let us assume it is the major product but it still it is not major product why because so here oxygen having the lone pair of electrons uh, like a double bond these two are not conjugation okay now again uh, one molar of <laughs> palladium will attack over there okay now here it forms this type of complex they are here it is the like below the plane palladium chemistry below the plane palladium chemistry now however here it is the below the plane is uh, like uh, closed now here it having the like below the plane as well as above the plane hydrogens okay again it is isomerized to the another position now here it it creates the double bond over here instead of this okay now here oh here it is the ar group okay now here it forms the double bond now it is the product it is the product and this is conjugate to the oxygen lone pairs so now here it is the major product instead of this okay here it, it requires two times of isomerization okay now finally we will continue another another reaction about this okay now here it is the compound ar below the plane now however i used the like ar2 bromide anything not uh, not only r r bromide so here these are bromide attack over there now here it it attack the like palladium r br okay now however it is minus it is plus okay now here it is the minus charge so these minus charge will attack over the palladium catalyst that's why i would write to write the r over here so r attack over there so palladium attack over there so in previous case here it is the below the plane that's why palladium it allows the above the plane stereochemistry not the below the plane stereochemistry why because already it having the below the plane that's why here it is the above the plane stereochemistry now r and palladium <coughs> occupies parallelly here it is the ar here it is the o so this is the r group this is the 
like a palladium X. Okay, now we require the same sin elimination. Huh? Okay, now here it is it having the hydrogen that is the below the plane. Now here palladium is the above the plane. That's why we will look down at the adjacent position of the like a uh, hydrogen. Adjacent position hydrogen. Now here it is having the above the plane stereochemistry. Now it undergoes goes this type of products. Okay, finally what we get is one is below the plane, another one is above the plane. So finally these double bond are also isomerized. This type of questions uh, uh, asked in CSR, CSR pattern. Okay, and now if it is possible, I'll explain these questions uh, in our examples. <coughs> now let us discuss the fourth thing that is intramolecular Heck cross coupling reaction intramolecular heck. So let us take the one of the best example nitrogen. This is the aromatic compound. Here it is a iodine, so which is protected by the something group, which is protected by the something. Now, however, we use the palladium zero, not the palladium two. So generally, palladium two, which is prepared from the palladium OAC taken twice, so which is treated with PPH3 ligand, it forms the palladium PPH3. Okay, like four times it is the zero complex. Palladium two to palladium zero in presence of like a reducing agents. Okay, so in generally, so here first of all this is the organic halide. This undergoes the oxidative addition with palladium, palladium iodide. So this is the oxidative addition first step. Okay, so after the oxidative addition, so palladium attacked the either the above the plane or below the plane stereochemistry. So now it forms the so here it is the above below the plane stereochemistry. Let us assume it is below the plane. Okay, now here the bonded to electron will shift it towards the palladium atom again parallelly. The organic group uh, will attack it over there. Okay, that means uh, here let us go through the mechanical mechanism. Now here it is the like uh, below the plane palladium. Here it is the below the plane group. Below the plane group. Uh, Okay, now here it is that nitrogen which is protected by the CO methyl. CO methyl. Okay, now here it is the palladium group. So here it, it undergoes the below the plane manner. It, it forms the cyclization with below the plane. That means uh, the hiding position of hydrogen is with uh, above the plane stereochemistry. Okay, now here the palladium X and L2 which undergoes the sin elimination, not the anti elimination. So the sin means uh, here both the groups are same plane. Now here both groups are a uh, different plane. So that's why it uh, shifted to the adjacent uh, atom. So now here it is possible for the one is the above the plane stereochemistry, another one is below the plane stereochemistry. It undergoes the isomerization of olefins. Finally, it gives this type of a product nitrogen. So CO methyl, this type of a product. So now here it is below the plane, that means it is also below the plane. So here this hydrogen is above the plane, that is, this hydrogen is also above the plane. So here we will create the heterocyclic uh, carbocyclic, hetero carbocyclic rings also. Okay, in this manner, we will prepare uh, so many types of carbocyclics as well as heterocarbocyclic molecules. Okay, now let us discuss the some of the problems regarding to the Heck cross coupling reaction. Okay, now let us start the our problem solving session in Heck cross coupling reaction. These are the very important problems. Uh, I'll do the almost all 15 to 16 problems okay, in this session. Okay, now here th these are the examples regarding to the Heck cross coupling reaction. So here it is a uh, organo halo or triplet, both are possible to give the Heck cross coupling reaction. So here it is the like a uh, olefin uh, terminal. And uh, so here these type of groups will uh, pronounce the terminal position, it gives the major as the ter terminal. Okay, now in between them it forms the like this type of bond, new CC single bond. Now here it is a double bond over there, like NH CBZ COOR, NH CBZ COOR. Okay, now let us take the another example that is a uh, iodine. Okay, so naphth naphthyl iodide, okay, which is treated with alpha beta unsaturated compound, will use this type of product. COO ethyl. That's just enough. The one of the terminal of a double bond which is treated with a organic group which is connected with organic group that is the product. Okay, now here it is a aromatic compounds are also gives the heck cross coupling reaction that is the major advantage. Okay, now here it is the uh, organic group which is connected to the halide. Now here it is the terminal group. All these types of chemistry will use the transposition. We are already discussed in our like a mechanism manner, mechanism case. So it gives the 
trans product as a measure we are already discussed over there if you want that uh, please uh, go for the starting video starting of this video so now here it is the aromatic compound which is treated with phenyl compound here also it gives the same type of uh, product like same type of uh, trans product very easier manner okay now here it is competition so here it, it is the, like a chemo selectivity here it having the iodine here it having the bromine so among these two which one is readily react with the hack cross coupling reaction now i'll give the reactivity order with respect to the halogen now here like iodine greater than or triflate greater than bromine greater than chlorine greater than fluorine almost all fluorine is suggested suggest that means not participated in the reaction so if this is the order overall order of here cross coupling reaction now here it gives the product uh, with the position of uh, iodine okay now here it creates the position co1 methyl here it is the bromine so these are the five examples now i'll give the very interesting examples in 6 to 10 Now let us solve the some more problems regarding to the heck cross coupling reaction. Finally, I'll give the very important problems, very very important examples in uh, 11 to 15 or 11 to 16. Okay. Now here in this case, here it is the like a vinyl halide. Here it is the olefin. So vinyl halide treated with olefin, it creates the new CC single bond over there. So here it creates the new CC single bond. It forms the COO methyl. That is the major product. Now in this case, here also like vinyl halides instead of vinyl halides, they are given the vinyl triflates, which is treated with a like a, a chloride will forms the same type of stereochemistry. So like this type of trans stereochemistry. Okay. Now here the eighth one here also same type. So but here it is it is which is connected to the do, uh, like a donating group. Now instead of withdrawing group, they are connected to the donating group. So in uh, due to the donating nature of the adjacent group uh, which is connected to the vinyl so here the r group attacked over there okay now here it creates the like uh, now the aromat like this okay so now here it is the double bond it creates the position like this o ethyl instead of a uh, uh, terminal terminal position here it attacks the same position due to the donating groups why because so here it is the lone pair of electrons he, these lone pair of electrons the, here if it is possible for the formation of negative charge these two are repelled to each other that's why negative charge shifted over here so it creates the negative charge it creates the positive charge negative charge will attack the palladium catalyst our group attack the like over here that's why here it forms these type of groups now in this case the ninth and tenth very important examples uh, uh, which are uh, not covered in our starting lectures that's why i'll i'll, I'll insert these uh, these areas okay now here it is alkyl halide which is treated with allylic alcohol so this is a very interesting thing so in case of allylic alcohol with alkyl halides rx uh, like uh, allylic alcohol it forms these type of uh, position these type of uh, like uh, so here it forms the Oh, bonds like this okay now generally here it is the olefin here whenever it is attacked to the position like this okay but uh, uh, adjacent position having the uh, allylic position here isomerization of double bonds takes place isomerization of double bonds takes place that's why here the double bond shifted over to here so these it forms the vinyl halide vinyl liquor vinyl alcohols vinyl alcohols these are like uh, uh, undergoing the ketoenal tautomerization it forms these type of products these type of products uh, this is the ninth example this is the ninth example now let us discuss the final example so how they are isomerized i'll explain over here so very clearly <coughs> okay now here it is the product let us assume so one of the plane uh, or any one of the plane of uh, alcohol let us assume it is the below the plane so if it is below the plane our palladium catalyst will attack the like above the plane stereochemistry palladium catalyst will attack the above the plane stereochemistry palladium with a f like a phenyl group palladium with a phenyl group now here in this case so here it is the uh, phenyl here it is the ar like any halo halogen group that is iodide so here it having the ligands okay now in this case here it forms the like a uh, below the plane oh above the plane phenol above the, sorry not the phenol here it is the palladium so again above the plane phenyl above the plane phenyl so now in this case a palladium undergoes the single elimination not the trans elimination but uh, here it having the uh, like a uh, below the plane stereochemistry in left side but it having the same plane stereochemistry with the right side okay that's why it undergoes the right side as in elimination now it forms the like enols 
All right, it forms the enols. So here it is the above the prince stereochemistry, it doesn't change. So here uh, enols can undergo the ketoenol tautomerization. Now it gives the product like here it is the double bond. Here it is the above the prince stereochemistry. This is the another advantage of a uh, heck cross coupling reaction. Now let us discuss very important reactions in this uh, total video, uh, total lecture. So don't miss it, uh, those uh, final examples. Now these are the very important reactions in Heck cross coupling. These, all these are the intramolecular Heck cross coupling reaction. Now in this case, intramolecular means within the molecule it it, it forms the like a vinyl to aryl halide form bond formation, new CC bond formation. Now let us let us find the aryl halide group and vinyl position which is favorable. Now here in this first case here it is the aryl group which is connected to the one of the ring either this position of the alkene or this position of the alkene. So generally so in case of di and tri substitution tri substitution favors in like our heck cross coupling reaction it forms the bond it forms the bond now let us assume this uh, let us draw the structure regarding to the above problem so here it is the compound o o okay now here so whenever uh, these type of complex complex matrix structures are given so now let us calculate the ring size okay now here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it it forms the like six membered ring it forms the six membered ring with these it is the six membered ring. So now the one, two, three, fourth position having the oxygen atom. Again, fifth position having the like NHCOO methyl. NHCOO methyl. Sixth position having the like a spiro compound. Sixth position having the spiro compound. Sixth opposite position it having the like a, again a, an a acetal structure like a acetal, a acetal type structure. Okay. Now, however, sixth position having the double bond, but in presence of a, like a, a heck cross coupling reaction, it intramolecular heck cross coupling reaction. It undergoes the isomerization. That's why these double bond will shifted over here. It forms the double bond. Okay, so this is the very easier example regarding to the our heck cross coupling reaction. Now let us assume that this is the like uh, this here this question involves two types of reaction. One is intramolecular followed by the allylic alcohol reaction. Okay, now let us assume here it is the like a uh, uh, aryl halide compound. Here it is olefin compound. Now generally it creates the O methyl. So here it forms the like a one, two, three, four, five, five member ring only, not the six member here methyl like a, which is protected by the methyl. Okay. Now here it is double bond here O S I T are taken twice. So actually double bond present over here, but uh, originally so this double bond here the presence of methyl group uh, this double bond isomerizes to uh, uh, adjacent group adjacent uh, position. Now here they are given in the like a HCl and water. That means here it undergoes the hydrolysis. It gives the inference of a strong nucleophile it undergoes the hydrolysis it forms the enols so these enol compounds will give the will undergoes the ketoenol tautomerization it forms the CHO over here that is the aldehyde formation okay now aldehyde let us assume it is the above the plane so this is the below the plane stereochemistry now here in this reaction we will uh, assume that here the first step is intramolecular heck cross coupling reaction now the second step is uh, allylic alcohol cross coupling uh, heck cross coupling reaction now the final one here it is a competitive so it is the a type of olefin here it is the b type of olefin so whether it forms the here or in here okay now let us assume the count the calculation now one two three four five so here one two three four five six so six member is favored when compared to the five member so again here it is the tetra substituted somewhat steric free here when compared to the, these groups okay now that's why it forms the another six member ring let us assume that. so we don't know the writing of the complicated structures so let us assume that. so whether it is right or wrong okay here o methyl that means one two three four five six okay now let us give the number priority one two three four five six okay now fifth and sixth having the like a uh, another six member ring fifth and sixth having the another six member ring so sixth position having the methyl group again fifth position adjacent fifth fifth adjacent position having the methyl as well as a double bond so this is the product regarding to the our our heck cross coupling reaction heck cross coupling reaction this double bond isomerizes to adjacent position this double bond isomerizes to adjacent position this is the very clear cut explanation regarding to the 13th problem okay now let us uh, solve the some of the problems very important problems i i complete the video within uh, 2 to 3 minutes 
Now, these are the final examples regarding to the, in this lecture, okay. Now, here it is a vinyl halide, it having the several types of uh, unsaturated, unsaturated uh, groups, okay. Now, in generally, in presence of beta hydride, we will go through the uh, sin beta hydride elimination, it gives the heck cross coupling uh, product. Now, in this case, uh, there is no uh, uh, beta hydride product. So, in, in absence of beta hydride, hydrogen elimination, or it is not possible for the beta hydride elimination such type uh, the new cc single bond is formed with suitable positions with suitable position now in this case uh, let us assume here it introduced by the palladium catalyst uh, so these palladium catalyst uh, if attacked over there there is no beta hydride elimination that's why so these radical will shift towards the formation of another another bond with a uh, adjacent triple bond again it having the doesn't uh, uh, like a beta hydrogen that's why it is not also possible to form the bond over there now here these right these compound these negative charge will shifted over here it creates the bond okay now the finally overall wolfine it is uh, directly cannot uh, attached but it is conjugatedly it attached over this like this okay now this is the like a simplest method very interesting method to follow to create the steroid molecules okay now here it forms the like these type of steroid molecules so here it is the double bond here it is the methyl angular methyl group uh, okay now here if this is the double bond let us assume this is the double bond in first case first ring this is the double bond so here among the triple bond one bond is uh, shifted towards the uh, like a right side then it becomes a negative that negative will push towards over here it, it creates the negative that negative will shift it over here it creates the negative that negative so this is the chain reaction like a chain okay now it it forms the here it is the double bond here it is the double bond there is no double bond it forms the double bond with a position so here it is the olefin okay final olefin is here so this is connected to the like our uh, vinyl halide okay so this is the very simplest method to prepare the steroidal structure steroidal structure so this is the intramolecular cyclization uh, without a beta hydride elimination example so which is also heck cross coupling reaction now let us discuss the final example this is very important reaction i think uh, which is given in recent year csir that is 2018 December, I think. Okay. Now, in this case, uh, previously we have discussed dihydropuran. Okay. In case of dihydropuran, so first of all, it will shift it, it will form the aryl compound. Uh, so let, let us assume, I think over there we will use it the, below the plane stereochemistry over here. So this is the compound here O methyl O methyl in the first step first of all these double bond will shift towards here that is isomerization of double bond again uh, due to the instability of uh, without conjugation it shifted over here so this is the first step uh, product A is this okay not the pro, uh, not uh, no this is not correct okay so here it undergoes the due to the stabilization it undergoes the another isomerization it gives the conjugated compound now again another heck cross coupling here two two times heck cross coupling reaction is favored and second time it undergoes over here with the opposite stereochemistry of the first one now it creates the position like this double bond so here it is the above the plane stereochemistry that is a naphthyl iodide O methyl O methyl so this is the double bond this is the double bond why because here the uh, here also isomerization takes place so in this case there is no possibility to form the conjugated double bond that's why here it is fixed to the final product so this is the overall final product regarding to the our lecture I think uh, today lecture is very uh, lengthy of uh, lengthy time sorry for that okay so the potentiality of uh, uh, reaction or concept will go goes like that okay thank you for watching